Hurricane Helene's mark is far from being erased on East Tennessee roadways. Commercial vehicles are still getting stuck on closed sections of I-40 in Tennessee. And earlier this week, a North Carolina driver died after driving the wrong way past barricades on the closed portion of the interstate. Our reporter Avery Gingrich explains why local leaders say they're optimistic about the progress of repairs on roads and bridges. Avery. Evening, Katie. No one denies that Helene left a scar in our region that can't simply be fixed. But weeks since the storm hit, some state leaders say that the volunteer spirit is doing its best. It's a long process. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. State Representative Jeremy Faison says he's been living the marathon of Helene recovery too. More than a month since Helene crashed into East Tennessee, some indicators suggest progress has been made. In the beginning, we were around 49 routes that were shut down uh, in that six county area. Uh, within the first 100 hours, we had been able to restore 25 of those. Uh, 30 days in, we were down to 14, and, and as of today, we're down to nine. TDOT's Region 1 Director, Steve Borden, and Faison say road repair crews have been working tirelessly to reconnect East Tennessee's communities. Collaboration has been key and will continue, but at least one concern continues. Make it into North Carolina from the state of Tennessee. I-40 is gone. It's not rebuilt yet. For whatever reason, we have truck drivers who just don't believe that. Faison, who serves Cock County, says resources are redirected every time a commercial vehicle has gone into the closed stretch of I-40 into North Carolina. He says the stranded vehicles don't harm anyone yet, but it does delay other projects and creates unnecessary risk. You know, you know eight to ten more months of, of work to restore uh, several miles of interstate along uh, that section that the Pigeon River uh, damaged so badly. The, the two don't deny that the longer alternative routes can be a burden, but it's better to be safe than sorry right now. The TDOT director says the state is updating the Helene recovery map on its website frequently. You can learn more about the road work during this weekend's edition of Inside Tennessee, which airs Sunday morning at 930. Katie. All right, Avery, thank you.